Uh, over to you, Dean. Sure, thank you very much, Greg. Thanks, Rodney. Um, we're going to Prague in the first poem. Um, I went to Prague and on the first day I got pickpocketed and everything went, all my money, my passport and everything, but I had a strange reaction to it and I put that into this poem called Praha. As you step out into the crowded cobbled streets, someone's waiting for you, someone you do not know some ordinary Joe or Joseph who bumps into you, apologizes, moves on. When later you discover your loss, behind the dismay steals a feeling of enlightenment. Your passport and wallet swapped for anonymity, the mendicant's bowl. You can't recall the exact moment you were singled out, but it's close to the time the old town with its bohemian charm stole your heart. Now, unencumbered, you are more truly a stranger, free to discover who you want to be. Thank you. And um, I'm uh, and this is the last poem I'm going to read. This one is in Greece. I wrote it recently. I had this amazing offer, which I couldn't refuse, which was to be the naming father of a remarkable olive tree. I made friends with Leela. She's the honey lady and the, and the olive oil lady who, who um, has a stall at the farmer's market. And she's, she showed me this incredible 300-year-old olive tree that had two daughter trees grown out of out of its roots. And um, during the naming ceremony, I, I, read, I read this poem. I wrote this poem for the, for the tree and its two daughters. And it's called The Ancient Mother Tree. 300 years ago, she fruited in this grove. Two daughters risen either side from her shallow sprawling roots. She remembers their early years as only mothers can in slow, sure rings, slender trunks stretching upwards. The autumn, their first green droops were shaken from their crowns. She's a ruined castle now, hollowed out, a window in her gnarled spine framing sky. Her knotty bark dribbled candle wax. Her daughters cannot leave, will stay until the end, patient nurses at her side. When finally she sinks back into soil, they'll face each other silent across the void. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dino.